Good morning. Chapter 11, Lesson 5 is on page 501. We're going to be dividing radical expressions. And we're going to be doing something called rationalizing the denominator. It looks bad in algebra. It looks bad in math in general. If you have radicals in the denominator of an expression. So we're going to be rationalizing the denominator. Let's start off with number 23. Uh, sorry, number 33. And we're going to rewrite this as the square root of 2 in the numerator and the square root of 5 in the denominator. And we're going to rationalize to get rid of that 5 by multiplying it by 1 or the square root of 5 over the square root of 5. So this gives us the square root of 5 and the square root of 5 in the denominator, which is the 5. And our, and our numerator turns out to be 10. So our answer turns out to be the square root of 10 divided by 5. I think the answer in the book has 1 fifth the square root of 10. Either way is great. Let's do number 71. This looks like if we make one huge radical, y to the fifth divided by xy squared. And we can simplify that even more as y cubed and x, y to the fifth divided by y squared. And what we can do is we can break it up into a numerator and into a denominator. And we're going to rationalize it by multiplying by the 1 or the square root of x over the square root of x. Our denominator turns out to be just plain old x. Our numerator looks like y cubed x in the radical. But we know that y cubed x can be written as y squared y and x. So we can take that y out, which leaves us with a y times the square root of xy. And I'm going to put my denominator back in. And I'm going to leave me with my uh, x in the denominator. So there's my answer for number 71. Rationalizing the denominator. We do not want to leave the denominator with a radical expression. See you all tomorrow.